Yo guys, it's your home Zeno Payne. I'd like to welcome y'all to another Black Desert online video. And in today's video, we're going to be going over Underwater Gathering. It's a very lucrative money maker. So in this guide, we're going to be going into detail on preparation and a couple places to farm and how to farm and the stuff that you'll need. So I hope you guys sit back and enjoy. Preparing for Underwater Gathering. So what you are going to need first is Gathering skilled 5 or higher. You will see a big difference in going out there with anything lower than skilled so i highly recommend being skilled five or higher when beginning underwater gathering now we're going to go into our inventory and go over what items we need before we go ahead and head out there you're going to need shining steel hose or steel hose now you can either buy the blue or the gold versions which the price difference is crazy you know you got eighty thousand for steel hose and two hundred and sixty two thousand for shining steel hose but the reason why I buy these is because of the negative 10 second proc and the steel hose only give you negative eight second proc. Now that two seconds is a big difference for me and the money difference doesn't matter to me as well because when you guys go out there, you're gonna be making a lot more money than you are gonna be spending on hose. Now also you're gonna need life spirit stones unless you have resplendent and or sharp stones. I highly recommend either or, but life spirit stones is the cheapest route currently so we do have alchemy and cooking negative 1.1 seconds processing success rate plus 11 percent we're going to be doing a lot of processing with the coral after we're done gathering it so having that is just a plus we have gathering slash fishing plus two and gathering item drop rate plus 10 percent which allows us to increase our yields when gathering it'll proc 10 percent of the time but that's a lot better than only getting one so we want more than one obviously to make our money making more efficient also, I recommend seafood cron mills. Now, if you're life skilling and you're not using these, there is something wrong. I highly recommend either making these or buying them. And the reason why I recommend buying them is because it's just such a necessity for life skilling with cooking slash alchemy time negative 0.6 seconds, life experience plus 10%, processing success rate plus 10%, gathering plus two, movement speed plus two, fishing plus two, and weight limit plus 100 and also life skill mastery plus 25. Now the higher your weight, the better when gathering out in the sea, which allows you to hold more quantity of coral and or pearls. So I highly recommend either seven or 800 weight at least. And if you guys have more than that, you guys are Gucci, so don't even worry about that. Also, I recommend traveler's maps just in case you guys get lost out there. If you do, traveler's maps will get you even closer to your destination to get out of the sea. So Traveler's Maps, I highly recommend getting those. You can farm a overabundance of these in Kratuga. If you guys can't do Kratuga, you can buy them on the central market. Another thing I recommend is the Agile Seal Elixirs. And the reason why I recommend these is because it has a duration of 15 minutes and underwater breathing plus 15 seconds. Now this is just really, really good because the longer you're underwater, the more money you're making and the more time you're spending is efficient. Now, the more time you're spending above water trying to gather your breath is the you're not making that much money. You're just hurting yourself. So if whatever you guys can do to make your life easier to stay underwater for the longest time, that's what I recommend getting. Especially if you also get a new armor set and you guys can go ahead and just either buy a new armor set Hercules, which is increases your weight limit as well. Highly recommend this set because like I said, the more weight you can carry, the more coral and pearls you can carry if you guys do get pearls. Um, but also because there are magic crystals of infinity, underwater breathing increase plus 15 seconds and they do stack. So putting two on there will allow you to breathe underwater for even longer. Now we're gonna go ahead into the pearl shop. If you guys have the money to get this, I do recommend getting this because it's a nice quality of life. You don't need it. You can actually do underwater gathering with out this outfit but i do recommend buying the outfit because it just makes your life so much easier when you're underwater gathering now you're going to go into apparel and go into costume and get the duh dumb duh dumb costume for your character and the reason why i recommend this one is because it gives you underwater breathing plus 30 seconds swimming speed plus 90 percent and less stamina consumed while swimming and the set effect is plus 59 percent now you guys are probably wondering what's the difference between this and the Splatfishers costume. Well, the Splatfishers costumes only gives you fishing plus one, so no underwater breathing, but gives you the same amount of swim speed. 
So if you guys are doing Underwater Gathering, I do recommend the shark costume. And if you guys have one or not, I do recommend getting a hedgehog. Hedgehogs are currently unavailable right now. We, if you guys missed that event, that sucks. But we should be getting a new one later. I don't know when. Take that with a grain of salt. But I do recommend either a regular hedgehog or a golden hedgehog. And the reason why I recommend a hedgehog is because it has a special ability that is gathering item, item quantity increase. Now at tier 1 and tier 2, it procs 30% of the time. At tier 3, it procs 40% of the time. And at tier 4, it procs 50% of the time. Now, the Hedgehog's ability does not stack, so only buy one Hedgehog. Do not buy more than one or you're just wasting your money. But this is what I recommend you guys have before you do Underwater Gathering. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into the Underwater Gathering part of the guide. Now it's time to pick a spot where to farm. Now, I, when looking for a spot to Underwater Gather, I highly recommend any of the islands. Now, some islands are not going to have coral. Some islands are and some islands will have coral on one side of the island and some items will not. Now I can go to show you guys some points if you guys want to go ahead and cap the screen or whatever you guys want to do. We have a spot here, a spot here, a spot here between uh, Roseman Island and this. Uh, also, we have one out here. Now this is Ross Sea when you guys get up this far and then this is Ross Sea. So it's a little harder to navigate. I have those bookmarks, but they're worthless because once you get out to Ross Sea, you just don't know where you're going. So being on the edge of the Ross Sea and searching like right here and then down, I recommend. Now there is gathering above into Ross Sea, like when you guys get further out there and the monsters, hopefully they don't mess with you, but I don't recommend going out that far. I recommend staying on the border of the Ross Sea and the regular sea and just go into each island and see what you guys can find. But once you guys find a spot, what you guys are gonna wanna do is go ahead and put on your life spirit stone and make sure it's proccing, put on your hoe, tap your seafood cron mill, and whatever else buffs you guys wanna go ahead and proc. Like I do life experience because I just love getting experience and the higher the gathering, the better. Also, I'd like to go ahead and pop my agile seal elixirs. So we're gonna go ahead and pop those and we're gonna go ahead and jump into the water. Now, what you guys are looking for, you guys are going to press LB or L1 to descend into the water. And then you're also going to press X or square to go back up for water. But when you guys run out of breath, don't worry about it. You guys will automatically go up. You guys will not die. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Just stay, stay down below. As long as your breath lasts, your character will automatically go up and you will not die. Also, I highly recommend conserving your stamina because as soon as it hits zero, the slower you will be. And I mean, it's to a sprawling halt. It's in crazy. It's crazy how slow you get when your stamina is all the way gone. But you guys are going to be looking for coral like this. And it's as simple as pressing Y or triangle. And you guys will get some coral pieces. Boom. Now, the things you're going to want to gather while under the sea is coral, sea fans, any type of coral and giant pearl oysters giant pearl oysters are going to be what's going to make you a lot of money you guys can go ahead and dry these and when you do dry them you have a chance of getting a golden pearl and or giant oyster flesh which you can sell on the cm all right we're getting to that point where we're almost out of breath now another thing i wanted to show you guys if you guys are planning on swapping servers it's what i recommend to do if you find a good giant oyster spot is to swap servers to go ahead and farm as much as you possibly can to increase your yield and your money of course but as long as you are gathering you will not go up for air so i'm gathering on this thing and it will not let me go back up unless i move my controller which i'm going to do now i'm out of breath completely so she basically struggles for breath all the way up and when that happens, like I said, you will not die. I'm just showing this to prove to you guys. You guys don't have to worry about running out of breath. So boom, we're back up. And then we can just go ahead and proceed back to making money. Now, there's also breathing bubbles underwater. Um, I don't know how it's going to show up on last gen, but right now we are currently on an Xbox Series S. So they show up a little bit more better. Now, they're not everywhere. They're very rare to come across. But what you guys are going to do in when you guys see them is go up to them. Now, there's one here and you guys can barely see it. But I want to go ahead and show you guys 
It's right there. You guys see that little like vibration here? That is a air pocket to allow you to gain your breath back. So you just walk through it, you stay, and then your air will go back up, which will allow you to gather even longer. Also, gathering hards and sharps. It's a little buggy, but gathering hards and sharps will also uh, bring replenish your breath so you can gather even longer. So that's A+. plus. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into the processing aspect of the underwater gathering. This is where you make the money. Now, usually I go ahead and make like a thousand coral, but beans are trying to save time on this video and not make it 30 minutes long. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what we can do currently. So I went ahead and farmed a pearl or a giant oyster. Now, what you're going to do is put that in drying, open up, opening up your processing menu. And how you open up your processing menu is you're going to press LT or L2 and then left on the D-pad or up on the D-pad and then right stick over to processing and then click on drying and then put the giant oyster into drying and then press Y. Now we wait for this process to get done and you're either gonna get just an oyster or you're gonna get a pearl. It's all RNG, but the pearls is what is gonna make you money. When you guys dry, you do have a chance to get them and this is what they look like. I, have, I think I have seven in here. Um, if I can, boom, see, golden pearl. This is what you get from drying. It even says how to obtain by drying a giant pearl oyster. So don't forget to dry those. Don't trade them in or else you're gonna miss out on a lot of money. Now, the pearls go for a lot. They go literally for 2.5 mil. Go ahead and do that or use these to make even more money by making the stuff that pearls are used in. You guys can go to BDL Codex to go ahead and look for it if you guys want to. It's just there's a lot of money to be made when farming golden pearls. Now, when processing coral, you have to make sure if you want to make golden coral, you need topaz. If you want to make white coral, you need diamonds. And you guys can just heat these together in the processing menu. Also, in order to make red coral, you need rubies. And then in order to make blue coral, you need sapphire. Now, what you're going to do is turn the coral into these forms. Now, you can either do red, blue, or yellow, or white. I highly recommend doing either yellow and or blue and red. Those are what's going to make you the most money. And then also after when you get done, you're going to turn them into these, which is like the breezy white coral, which is white coral times three, and then a resplendent diamond. Golden sun coral is going to be golden coral times three, and then resplendent topaz. So you're just going to use the resplendent part of the jewels in order to make these corals. Now these corals is what's going to make you the money when you guys get done processing. So make sure you guys do that. It tells you literally how to do it in the menu. So make sure you guys check that out and you guys do need heating beginner. This is going to be another guide I'm going to go to make later. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to get heating beginner and heating skilled along with the other skilled abilities and or beginning abilities. Now that's where you guys are going to make your money when you guys are underwater gathering. Also, shrimp, you guys can make prawn salad, which is cooking to get your cooking up, or you can sell the shrimp straight out. When you guys dry your giant pearl oysters, you guys will have a chance to get the golden pearls as I showed you, or you guys will get this dried pearl oyster flesh. You can sell those. Those are always selling. Also, we do have lobsters. Now, this is a trading item. Now, there's two things you can utilize this for. When you're underwater gathering, you're going to get a lot of this. So this is going to be what's going to make you go back is if you keep it in the trading form, it doesn't stack. So it's just going to go one, 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 one across rows and have your inventory just packed. Now, you can either go to a trader and barter and then trade them, which will increase your trading like crazy. Or you can go ahead and put them into drying and dry them for lobster flesh. And so what you, what you guys are going to do is go to Shopping Central and then type in lobster just to see if it's actually selling, which it is. Dried lobster, we got 125000 per. You're getting a lot more money by drying it, which is crazy because usually you gain less money from drying something, usually when you're fishing, right? But in this case, you're making more money. And there's always pre-orders, so you're always going to be making money on dried lobster. So that's what I recommend doing with the lobster. And to show you the price difference, see, 25000 to trade it, and when you barter it, it goes up to like forty or 50000 
but so go ahead and dry these so this is how you guys are going to make money underwater gathering also before we end the guide another thing you guys are going to want to do is check the volatile prices as you guys can see here golden sun coral is the most right now at 555,000. if you guys go ahead and click that it's up to 595,000. Now, people are always buying the golden sun corals, the red sun corals, etc. So I highly recommend checking volatile and seeing what has zero and then making those because that's where you're going to make your most money. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, smack that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more Black Desert content. And for any other life skill guides you guys want me to make, feel free to comment down below on which ones you guys are interested in me making. But like I said, guys, other than that, your homie Zeno Payne out. Peace.